Welcome back everyone, KJ4YZI here with Ham Radio Concepts. And in this video, continuing on our little micro series of the entire Rig Expert line of antenna analyzers that Gigaparts.com was kind enough to send me for loaning for these videos. We've worked up to the AA1000. If you haven't seen that series, you can look at the playlist and also go to HamRadioConcepts.com, join the email newsletter so you get updates like this in your email box and subscribe here on YouTube so that you can follow along when videos like this are posted. And so continuing on, we have the AA1400 and the AA1500 zoom. And you may say, well, what's the difference, 100 megahertz? No, two different analyzers here. This video is gonna be the AA1400, and we'll move on. But I also have in the future here, in the next couple of videos, the two sticks, the Rig Expert Stick 230 and the Stick Pro. So maybe you don't want one of these big ones. Maybe you want the little analyzer that is a stick form. What are the differences between these two? We're gonna find out right here on Ham Radio Concepts. Ham Radio Concepts is brought to you by HamRadioPrep.com. It's never been easier to learn about Ham Radio before you take the exam. And Ham Radio Prep makes it fun and guarantees your success. Visit HamRadioPrep.com. Use the code ERIC20 to instantly save 20% off every course you buy. Remember the name, HamRadioPrep.com. Okay, so the AA1400, the green family of antenna analyzers. So I'm gonna show you this. Um, the manual in here, and this manual is pretty much the same for the AA600, 1000, and 1400. Those videos are on my channel as well. So what does it come with? Of course, you've noticed the trend here, right? The green analyzer family comes with the, the outdoor bag so that your friends at Field Day aren't mashing up your buttons and making it dirty, you know? All right, so here is the AA1400 here, all right? And it has a end connector on top. Remember, everything over the 230 uh, pretty much has an N on there because you're, you're testing all the way up to 1400 megahertz on this analyzer. And this one also takes three, if I can get it open, AA batteries here, okay? So, Contrary to other antenna analyzers out there that use a gang of batteries or, or whatever, what they give you here is a charger here for recharging the three AA 2700 milliamp hour batteries so that you're, you know, and this thing can be, can be used, um, you can charge this with solar, with an inverter, a small inverter out in the field. If you're really doing a lot of antenna testing out in the field, you'll never be without power if you have rechargeable batteries and maybe another set, you can rotate them or whatever a USB cable, shielded USB cable, because all of these Rig Expert antenna analyzers can be used on the computer with a USB port so that you can map and plot the Smith charts and all kinds of uh, plots on your antennas on your computer so you can do measurements as you're tweaking or building your own antenna. You can see exactly what's changed in comparison on a bigger screen than something like this and recall it for future. Um, and the strap, and of course, they give you a N to SO239 adapter in here. So you may say, why? So all we're doing is increasing frequency. Well, no, because again, some of the the other analyzers that I've showed you, like the you know AA35, has uh, less frequency than an AA1400. But then you get the zoom models, and the zoom models give you a little more feature with a color screen where you can see you can zoom in and and look at multiple frequencies, but you, you can look at a wide swath, a narrow swath, and with these and a lot of the other models, you can do five bands at one time on a quick snapshot with SWR in real time, or you can sweep the entire range from DC to 1400 megahertz, okay? And uh, wow, I mean, if you really needed to see that much of a sweep on an antenna, this model will do it. So the AA1400, is reminiscent in its appearance and functionality to the AA1000 and AA600. Well, let's say you have more need to go above 1000. For instance, 1 1.2 gigahertz. So this analyzer right here would cover everything from HF, let's say AM broadcast band, HF, VHF, UHF, 800 megahertz, 900 megahertz, 1.2 gigahertz, all with one analyzer, okay? and so the difference between this and the 1500 zoom will be you know, quite a bit with the display and the zoom functionality. So we're gonna show you that in a minute, but just to give you a quick idea what this will do. If you're new to the Rig Expert analyzers, let's say you wanna use this to check SWR in real time on one specific frequency. We'll start basic. 
So you go to frequency and you pick a frequency. For instance, we'll do 10 meters. So we'll go two, eight, four, two, five. Okay. And we will hit show SWR start. 1.10 to one SWR in real time. As you make changes to this antenna, you can see what it's doing and you can use the range up and down or frequency up and down to go from the lower end of the band to the upper end of the band to see where it's, where it's actually best resonant, the biggest dip. If you wanted more than that, you can go to number eight, show all. And number eight is gonna give you everything about that frequency right here. The reactance, the return loss, the resistance, the capacitance, inductance, SWR, and so on, all on one shot in real time. Let's say you want more than that. Let's say you're working on a dual band antenna, or for this sake, we'll do uh, HF, okay? So you have a multi-band HF antenna, and what's it doing across multiple uh, frequencies? So I've said this in the videos before. I had that little nano VNA analyzer on Amazon for 60 bucks, but trying to do all of that, first of all, everything over like 200 megahertz is, I think it is, is using harmonics. So they say that the, 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 the accuracy is not really there when you're going up into the one gigahertz range because it's just using harmonics of one frequency to get a range of that. This is accurate all the way up, self-calibrating, no calibration to do at all. That's the one thing bad about a nano VNA is I have to put the short, the open, and the load on there just to calibrate it. When I change frequency, I do it again. It could take me an hour to check five HF bands, but watch this. If I go to multi, hold function and go to multi seven. Now I could check, I put these five frequencies in. Five frequencies, okay, looking at 10 meters, 30 meters, 17 meters, 160 meters, and 1.2 gigahertz on this antenna. I'm not even sure how 1.2 gigahertz is resonant on an antenna laying out there, but it's showing it's not resonant, but it's 2.3 to one on an antenna that could be 40 feet long. So I'm not sure why that is that way, unless that antenna is Maybe a harmonic, I'm not sure, on that frequency. But look, in real time, so try to do that with a VNA. It's not that easy, okay? And I like the VNA, it's, it's, it's cheap and it's easy to have for a quick check on VHF or HF, but it's not a rig expert, guys. I'm trying to show you, you know, the difference. Everybody said, well, you know, you show all this China junk. That's when I first started. Oh, this stuff in China, show us real good stuff. Now I show you real good stuff and you say, oh, it's too expensive, I can get that from China for 70 bucks. You cannot get this for $70 from China, I can tell you that right now. So multi SWR, and if you want to go even further, you can go out of here and you can go to scan SWR number four. Now this would be an entire plot, and I'm not even gonna set up the frequency, but I can scan the entire 10 meter band, I can scan the entire 20 meter, I can scan from 10 to 40, I can scan from zero to 1400 megahertz, I can do all that, then I can go through on the frequency and see exactly where my dips are and what the SWR is at that frequency. So you get the idea about the rig expert and there's a lot more you can do with the Smith chart. If we go back and we go function and we go five, you have a Smith chart. Now that's not set up there, that looks really unreadable at that frequency, but the Smith chart for those who want it does exist. And the PC mode that lets you do all of this on the computer with USB and save these plots for when you're making your own antennas or you're testing people's antennas in the field, then they make changes and you go back to field day. Wow, what's the club trailer doing? The club, uh, the, the antenna on the club trailer. Let's see how that's different this year. You can plot this stuff and see, well, last year before that storm, it was doing this and now it's doing that. So really good stuff here with this rig expert. And we're gonna take a look now in the next video at the 1500 zoom model and see how that compares to something like this if you're interested. Seven through guys, more videos are on the way. Click that link in the description and that will bring you to the gigaparts page who is kind enough to give you a five percent discount on any rig expert device they have in their inventory just by going to that link and clicking and buying something there you'll save five percent using the code at the top of the page 73 this is kj4 yzi